December 26th, Detention Center Visitor's Room. Maya! Hey, Nick, it's you! I'm glad Mr. Edgeworth made it through the day, okay? It's our leaf! Hey, why'd you do that anyway? I don't know. I... I just knew I had to do something. I know I'm not the lawyer my sister was. I'm sorry. Well, you did say the trial. Just behave from now on, okay? O okay. Is it the one the enlarged photo model was talking about? Uh-huh. Huh. It's nice and big. But you really can't I can't really see the faces of you clear, can you? Gotten, but they must have gotten on there at some point other than the shooting. What? Really? The shooter used his left hand after all. So the markers on the bullet and the barrel matched the pistol. Uh, the pistol matched? Hey, I'm surprised you remembered that. How could I forget it? The wrong car I wrote it in my took in so much. So which of these I'm not really sure. Uh, so it's, they're basically scratches, uh, in a, I, I said this in a, in a recording that, that I am not uploading because I got rudely interrupted and I about punched the person who interrupted me because, good grief, these voices are a pain in the ass, but it, it, uh, it basically has to do with the, uh, they're, they're pretty much scratches, I believe, on the on the bullets that are left behind by the rifle the barrel. Uh, sorry, I'm fresh out of ideas. You know what? My mother. Now that I've shown her the picture, I'm not so sure it was the right thing to do. No, I'm pretty sure it was the wrong thing to do. I wanna see Gordy too! Well, I'd say a photograph is pretty good proof. Once the straw is over, let's go get some fishing poles and go down to the lake. You know that there is a monster in that lake. Fishing poles sound like a bad idea. Sorry, I'm fresh out of ideas. Alright, well, the good news about that is I know exactly where to go because I stumbled around. December 26th, Gord Lake Park entrance. There are a few more than there were yesterday, but the cops are still around in the park. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe is here today. Oh, I forgot to talk to Maya. Hang on. Oh. Wrong button. Have I questioned yet? No, not yet. Detective Gumshoe. Just now. You said seeing this is just your first offense. You look like you go after questioning. Hmm. Oh, no wonder when you get beyond the name right now. You can pay for me, okay? Huh? How much? I don't know. I guess I'll send you a letter, a bill, or something. day at all. Probably off paying through the nose on a date with the lovely Kianse. December 26th, Gord Lake Woods. Hey, there's a 
gums. Hey, pal. The trials are very good. Yes, what about the trials? Oh, I was going to say good show, but it really wasn't all. No, you did say, Mr. Edgeworth. I just don't wasn't sure uh, how to say thank you, you know. Er, thanks. This is going to Yes. Uh, you what strategy for to this plan for tomorrow? It sounds like it's bringing again another witness. Another witness? Alright, he said something about that in the trial today. There were two witnesses. <coughs> I was wondering who that other witness was. Or who was it? Sorry, pal. As much as I'd like to, I'm not a leverage agent. I've all said information. Right. Oh, right. I wanted to ask you something about Edgeworth. What's up? Is he afraid of the place? I've never heard anything about that before. If Mr. Edgeworth doesn't talk about it, something to say. But there's one thing that's clear as day, aside from the glitchy audio. Him hating crime the way he does, and him becoming a prosecutor, and him being scared of earthquakes. It all started with that incident. The deal sits in Yep, that's the one. Fifteen years ago, when he saw his father shut for his very eyes, he still feels the pain now. You can see it in his eyes. I want to talk to you about my fate. Huh? She's not on her bail yet? That's right. I told him to let her go as soon they had their apartment. Man. I don't know what would have happened in that courtroom today to work for her. Seeing her get dragged up by the bailiff. To be honest with you, pal, I shed a tear too. Mr. Edgeworth, he was so good. And I saw his lip drop. Really? Cold as ice, Edgeworth? He was really grateful for I'm going back to head back to the station. I'll get the report on my, uh, get her out of there as soon as I can. Thank you. Oh, wait. Um, I was wondering how much is the bail going to be? Don't worry about that. Mr. Edgeworth is busting the whole one out. What? Edgeworth? Didn't I tell ya? He's a strip. He's grateful. He's all for what he did. Alright, now. Well, don't forget to go pick her up, okay? Edgeworth played this one's rent too. And that's kind of your job. December 26th boat rental shop. Looks like the boat rental shop is closed today too. But this is where I got interrupted and had to restart my recording. Fortunately, we were only eight minutes into the episode, so it wasn't. Like, a big, it wasn't too big of a deal, but oh my word, it is so annoying having to restart recordings because of being inter- because of being interrupt- uh, well, interruptions. December 26th, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Hey Nick, you finally came! They just finished the paperwork, I'm free to go! Free at last, huh? Interrogators are really mean. They were like, okay, what did you do this time? Like I was some kind of criminal. Can you believe it? Oh, well, I man, they let you out, didn't they? Mm. Oh, that reminds me. Thanks for bail. Thank Edgeworth. Huh? He posted bail for you. He said he was grateful for what you did. Mr. Edgeworth did that? I didn't make it up for it, John. We've got to win this case, Nick. here in detention. It's really pretty comfortable here. It's warm in there, and they keep it very clean. I mean, have you noticed anything about the cake? 
face. Park. December 26th, Gord uh, Lake Park. December 26th, Gord Lake Park entrance. There aren't many cops around today, are there? I'll probably back at the precinct working up the case against Edgeworth. Hmm. Hey, y'all! Hey, it's Lana! Y'all really did it today. What did we do now? No, I'm not complaining. See, I did a little thinking. Well, it's so flexing, you might say. I realize that being a leader, this is a mighty big responsibility. But I just went up there and started driving any old thing that came to mind. Lotta. So you see, I want to make it up to the other. Make it up? What do you think of the trial? To be honest, I was doing it half just to say I've been a witness. Even though I didn't really see anything. I'm sorry, I know I caused to y'all a lot of trouble. Well, memory is a freaking big little thing. Yeah. Yeah, I sure know that now. I'll be fine the next time I witness a murder. Right! The first time you witness a murder? What about, what about Morty? Right! Well, the way I figure... The trial's only stoking the flames of Gordy Fever. I get my exclusive photos and rocket start. Alright, Lana, you go, girl! I wish I could be an investigative photographer, too! Finish your spirit medium training first. Lana, what do you mean by making it up to us? Well, you see, actually, I got a bit of information for you. What? That long car, I didn't want me to say nothing about it. But what information? Now we're getting to the heart of it. See, I reckon we might be able to do ourselves a little exchange. A exchange? Um, I thought this was to make it up to us. Right! I suppose it was a chance to make it up to us. But! Information don't come cheap, my friend! Uh -oh. Hey! I see you through not how unsophisticated these southern folks are. It's written all over your face. Let me tell you, most of us are way more sophisticated than you. I'm just the exception, okay? Well, what do it be? We going to deal or not? What do we do, Nick? I mean, I can play it for it. Deal. I'm gonna be gonna lead, so I don't think we have a choice here. Okay, how much? Huh? You're completely off your rocker? I may not be sophisticated, but I'm not trying to rob the poor. Huh? No unfair exchange for information is information. Listen good. Why do you give me information about Gordy? Whoa! whoa, whoa Gordy? The board doesn't mean Gordy might not even exist. A great new proof that show we'll see dog. Uh, I'll be keeping a watch from the car, okay? You see something, y'all come to me first, got it? Okay. Right, see y'all later! Okay, Nick, let's get hunting! Hunting? You don't seriously mean... Gordy? I sure do! What about Edgeworth? We're searching for Gordy for him, Nick! Don't you get it? Okay, and how exactly do we search for a make-believe monster? Maybe we can find a monster myth specialist. Uh, hi. December 26th, Gord Lake Public Beach. That wasn't there before. What's that? The steel samurai, Nick. Yo, Maya. Larry, what the heck is that? Oh, it was my girl's Kian. My girl Kian's idea. So it's all, if you, like, put this here, it would be, like, really cool. Dude, she gave it to me along with the banner. She can find those people. She knows a lot of people. And that's it. It was finished now, so she got them for free. Right. Yo, Nick! What happened with Izzy? Man, who's the first day in court? I don't know how good our prospects are. Hey Larry! See that Mr. Edward 
super genius. He's terrified of earthquakes. That's a little, a little boy. Huh? That's weird. I don't think he was ever like that in school. No? Really? Well, we were in the same class for a little bit. He transferred schools pretty quickly. December 26th, Boat Rental Shop. It's almost so quiet here. I wonder if the boat shop is closed for good. I don't have to on the lake at all. They're probably just taking a vacation until it blows over. I get it. December 26th, Gord Lake Woods. Hey, y'all! Well, I'll buy it in Get out about Gordy? Oh, no, nothing. I'll keep moving. It gets cold out here for nighttime. It is a little chilly. I, I think I have to sneeze. Whoa, 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 no! You don't go! Let's go! Told y'all no sneezing. See, I said, look, the camera to respond to um, things a little softer than a bang. You trigger on one of Von Carver's finger snaps now. Oh, I'm sorry. Yo, yeah, well, sir, it's nice. What about my bell? Nick, real lady. For sure. Testify in a serious pit. That's why I decided not to talk about that case anymore. Huh? Whoa, whoa. Slugs, you see you had information about the case? Tell us that at least. I can't see it. I'll turn it on the dirt old Gordy. What do you mind to do if Gordy doesn't exist? I'll put me in the investigative photographer. What? After all, I only really have one father in my name so far. Good one? You bet. Are you? Uh, are you? Anyway, if I can't get a career making photo this time around, then that's it. I'll quit and go back to school. Huh? So you really are a university student? Yeah, well, I'm taking a break for a bit. Pretty common. <laughs> That's a good 
saw in my until I was faster than I can go go. Do you think Gordy really exists? No, I think somebody from this has something else to think his thought was Gordy. Fuck his son's never right, God, tell the truth, I'll tell the truth so. Courtroom tomorrow, okay? <laughs> Misbehaving is much more fun! It's not going to be so much fun when Ed Schwartz refuses to pay your bail again. Right! I'll behave! Oh dear. Well, what should we do? I don't know! Detention is fun. Well, you decide what we should do, do you? Like, I think it's been less. I don't remember the exact date because it's been like three years since I played this. Uh, since I uploaded those parts. But, uh, I mean, actual only for like three years. But, uh,. game it's been less than like six months since Mia was killed. December 26th, Police Department, Criminal Affairs. Hey there, pal. What's up? You look out of the sauce. Wait, you didn't go and do something that's gonna hurt Mr. Edgeworth's case again. What do you mean again? Whatever, have a seat, pal. I'm here for you if you need anything. Besides money. Ah, really? We have another meeting coming up. I'm supposed to talk about Mr. Angel's motive. His motive? See, Mr. Angel's father died in the DL6, wasn't it? The guy who got the most of the to find the innocent was the victim of this case, Robin Hatton. So that's why Mr. Angel's shot. Angel never tells about his past. I'll think they'll try that. Gotta admit, it doesn't look good for him. Say, the sense of guilt shoot, do you know it? Gordy? I'm not sitting down and going late, I'm personally, no. Well, we're looking for it. Huh? Are you out of your minds? <laughs> you got time to go wild, monster hunting. How about doing a little questioning from me then? She was scaring me, Nick. I told you to gum you about the deal with Lot. Nick, try to look him sooner next time! Er, sorry. I see. Sorry for shouting at you. Okay! I just did gum shoe will aid your search for God. Huh? I'm on your one more doing the same methods for finding evidence. Really? Whichever one you like. Okay, give us the goods. Hold on now, everything in due time. First, let me show you. These are our best employees. Introducing secret weapon number one, Missile. Missile? She's a canine police dog in training. Missile, missile, yeah, boy. 
There he is. Hey, he's cute. This is my own personal call. Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for a monster. Yeah! How are we supposed to catch a whole sea monster with a fishing pole? Yeah, no, no, don't tell you try, pal! Okay, that's, that's what this is the last. No, please, we're already overcome by our choice. Secret weapon number three, a metal. Yeah. Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for something alive. Right. How are we supposed to find it with a metal detector? Hey, you never know, it might have been in soda cans. Oh, uh, which will it be? Um, I can't make up my mind, Nick. They all seem so perfect. I can't make up my mind either, for the totally opposite reason. I don't remember which one you're supposed to take. I guess the metal detector first? Oh, that metal detector? Something like that. Remember, you have to get lots of anything as possible. Anything! Anyway. Detector board and detective gun. First of all, why would Gordy be in the bushes? And second of all, why would a metal detector react to a sea monster? Oh. Uh, huh? There's something wrecked around this air tank. It looks like a string of flags? Well, we might as well take it with us now that we found it. It's real it's heavy. An air tank of dubious value retrieved. Like that. Oh, see how this string of flies around the tank valve? It's just like the string of flies around your steel sand right there. <laughs> Must be a coincidence! There's strings of flies everywhere these days! Like elementary schools! And just car dealerships! Look what are you there! Take you anyway! Inflate something? You used to so inflate that, didn't you? Inflate what? What else? The big, that big puffy steel samurai. No, why would you go asking me a question like that? It's a the nail on the head. Right, right. Actually, um, it's 
compressor I always use was on the frets, so I tried using the air to the tank to inflate it just once, and it didn't go so well as I suspected. It didn't go so well? Er, uh, yeah. Do you think you can be a little more specific? Come on! It's embarrassing, so I really don't want to talk about it. Tell us! Tell us! Fine. Whatever. It's like I said, the compressor was busted, so I took the tank and tried to fill this... Yeah, we're right up with that. And then... Blam! <laughs> the valve busted up and there was this incredible noise. And that tank... There took off like a rocket. And it took my four, four to find steel samurai with it. What? Off into Gordon Lake? Just scared. Me out of my gourd, that's for sure. The night of the murder. I'm sorry for not sorry for not telling you, Nate. Actually, I was here on the night of the murder. But you see, I went home before midnight. See, you know about what happened? No. That's too bad. It's not all bad. It's all one mystery. At least. A mystery? Hey, Lana, so Gordy's not real. Uh. Here. Yeah, but. I mean. Do I talk to her about it then? Yes, I do. Well, Mr. Waters, I got the info y'all need. Y'all got scoop on Gordy for me yet? Gordy doesn't exist. But, uh, there is no such thing as gold. What? What? How can y'all be so sure? Really, Dick? Y'all got some proof Gordy don't exist? This is the proof that Gordy doesn't exist is here. Of course I have proof. No your worth his badge would make a claim without the proof to back him up. Here's the proof that Gordy doesn't exist. Take that! Larry's air tank? What are y'all doing with an air tank? This is Gordy. Uh, excuse me? What exactly are you saying? There's a sand near here. A hot dog sand. There's a giant inflatable sand right on there. Oh, we could go and get it and have this first I tried to fill it. She used this air tank and was about blew the tank flew into the hole. Probably made a, little, a pretty loud bang when it flew. A bang? The tank along with the still the latest, uh, samurai fell into the lake. At the same time, a couple was taking a photograph of the lake. This photo. Wait, so you're saying that Gordy is really the seal samurai? That's a fine way, you know, ruin a gal's dreams. I'm sorry, Lana. Nah, it's okay. You win. I need to hear you feel like I promised. Poor Lana. So tell us this information you have. Promise is a promise, I guess. I've heard the cops around here saying something about a witness tomorrow. He said he's the air tank on the boat right on point. It's not the bath here. Just an old guy living all by himself. Y'all should go check it out. Thanks a lot, Uncle Little. Let's get cracking, Nick. Oh, 
Oh no! Something else. Yeah, yeah. The crime of the murder. I can't reflect clicked it twice, you know? Wait, so you have another photo? I know. Yeah, but there's nothing in it at all. Just the light. I figured you wouldn't be much use as evidence, so I kept it to myself. Well, it might not be helpful at all, but here, take it. Second lake photo added to the court record. Bye now. Y'all take care. Hang on, but uh, before we leave, before we are forced to leave, I want to take a look at this. So it's an empty lake taken automatically at 12.24 at 11.50 p.m. Big interval. Time for me to pack up and leave. Poor Lotta. It's all Larry's fault. The legend lives on, I guess. The legend? Yeah, legend of Larry, familiar to all who know him for any length of time. When something smells, it's usually the butts. Hmm. Someone should whip that butts into shape. Bye, Larry. December 26th, the boat rental shop. Hey, Nick! This is the boat rental shop that Lotta was talking about. You're right. Doesn't seem to be anyone around at all. Well, let's go check it out anyway! Small boat rental shop. It's all the demos around. They're probably closed because of the murder. Hang on, I'm, I'm, let me start that over. <laughs> There's some boats floating at the dock. The murder took place on a boat from this dock. Apparently the police took the, away the actual boat that was used that night. Indeed, there's space for one more boat at the dock. I'll force off that way. Don't find any helpful clues there. Oh, I can actually move into the shack now. Okay, I didn't realize. December 26th, Caretaker Shack. Mac! There you go! I. The Keith, what's ya? Where have you dropped that? I've been worried sick. Nick, you handle this. Uh, I think I'll leave this one up to you, Maya. Mac! Yes? Finally made up your mind, have ya? My mind? You'll run the pasta shop when I'm gone. The pasta? Glad to hear it, glad to hear it. You make your old man proud. He who gets up the house, I didn't know what to think. I'm not supposed to keep this place running an old man like me. Bobby, the kid's out. Get old, get old. Nick, what was that? That hurts. Dang! Yes? You're not finally the white noodle on your cute plan, son. Nick, what's the white noodle? Um, based on the new letters, I'd say it's the name of his pasta shop. That's a relief, isn't it, Polly? Hello, hello! Hello! He fell asleep. Guess he's relieved. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Oh, well, probably can say lots of things. You just need to know the secret words. The secret words?
again, it's the wrong thing. Maybe I'll just present my badge? I'm sorry, I was hearing something that I wasn't sure if it was part of the background music or something being happening like <laughs> in uh, like IRL. That's that Elias bat! Yes, it is. I don't believe it. This old guy is the first person to recognize my badge. I get it. Huh? Hey, yep. I got you figured out now. You're not Kate. Not Keith. And I'm not Maggie either. We're here investigating the murder of this place on the lake the other night. Please help us! Mm, how are you, huh? Please, mister? Alright, I'll help. But on one condition. What's that? When this case is over and done, you'll run the wet noodle. Sure, why not? Okay, we promise. Nate, are you sure about this? Hey, anything to get this case solved. Also, who wouldn't want to eat peanuts noodles? I guess so. That's my boy! Good for you, King! Well, wait, didn't I just say- You don't, Meg! Yes? <laughs> you bring a tear to your man's eye. Now what was it you wanted to know? Speak up, Polly! Hello, hello! Probably night, eh? Yup. It was after midnight, but okay. I had this bang! So I looked outside. Bang! A while later, this book comes back. And a young man walked by my window. He was wondering something to the top of the What did you say? Tomorrow, my call time at breakfast. We need to know earlier than that. You know what? <laughs> oh, Terry was just dead. Terry? Yep, the kid that's tall. You always used to make him cry, remember? He wore this tattered old coat, comes off some whiskers growing out of his face. He comes up and tells me to come down to call tomorrow. Really? So I don't think we're going to get much I think you're right. Oh, wait, I had one more question. Huh? Polly, Polly, have we forgotten something? Don't forget DL sets. Uh huh? What did she just say, Nick? One more time, Polly. Don't forget DL sets. What? The DL sets incident? Hey, Mr. I, I mean, Dad. Weird. Who is this old guy? Why would that bird Polly know about DL6? We have to figure that out who that old man is. Oh! What? He locked the door from the other side. 
Who could that old man be? I think I need to go for research on this deal since it's been. Maybe I should ask Detective Gumshoe. And in order to do that, we have to slowly make our way. That's the entrance! And then down to the Criminal Affairs Department. December 26th, Police Department, Criminal Affairs. Hey pal, long time no see. Even though it's only been a couple of hours. Uh, you don't look so happy. What's wrong this time? Actually, we wanted to ask you something. Yeah! You know the boat rental shot down at Ford Lake? Oh, yeah. The old man who runs it is curious of what is in the court tomorrow, right? Huh? How'd you. That was supposed to be a top secret. Do you know who that old man is, Detective? Naturally, I don't. He's a bit of an odd bird. I haven't been able to get a straight answer out. I decided first that we, he wasn't persuasive enough to stand and testify as a witness. That's why we called Miss Lotta Hart yesterday. That's why who he is. We have absolutely no idea. Hmm, sounds suspicious. Just go to please help us. Uh huh? We need to know about the DL6 incident. That was when the Edward's father died. I can't help but think that it has something to do with this current case. Tell the truth, I don't know much about DL6 either. Mr. Edward forbade us from reading the file. So I'm afraid I can't show them to you about right now. What? However, if you can convince me somehow that the DL6 incident is related to this case, uh, I guess I'd have to con I'd consider opening the file. on the DL6 incident. Who there is the station's record, Saru? I'll give you special permission to go in and find what you need. All right, but it go, Detective Gumshoe. Okay, Nick, to the records room. Guess it's time we face Edward's pass. December 26th, Police Department records room. Um, it's amazingly dusty. Ten years of files and ten years of dust, I guess. Let's find that deal sit stuff quick. Fifteen years ago, me and Edward were nine years old. We were almost to a fourth grade when suddenly transferred. DL6? Nick! I found out where the file is! Uh, oh, thanks. Just let me know what you want to know about the DL6 instance. I'll go get the right file. Case summary. Well, first I have to get a handle on the main paths. I'd like a summary. Right! Summary, summary, found it! There you go! December 28th, 2001. Exactly 15 years ago. The day, uh, the day, the day after tomorrow. So in two days, the case is closed. It isn't just placed in the elevator of the condition trick courthouse. What? Isn't this the same courthouse? 
Isn't this the same district courthouse where we're holding the trial now? Looks like. There was a large earthquake at 2 p.m. on that day. Part of the court building collapsed and all of the lights went out. Wow, that was some earthquake! At the time, three people were trapped in the elevator. It took five hours for them to be rescued. Five hours? That would be scary like that. That would be scary like that in the dark. There was a lack of oxygen in the elevator, and the survivors were unconscious. The survivors? One of the three in the elevator had been shot in the heart. That was Mr. Edgeworth's father. That was Mr. Edgeworth's father, wasn't it? He's... He said that his father was shot before his very eyes, so I was itching to one of the other passengers in that elevator. We have data on the victim. Edward's father? Yeah, hold on! Victim! Here! Found it! Murder Edward's 35 passenger. If he were still alive, he'd be 50. He had lost that basic case of the The elevator with a son. Miles! Miles Edgeworth, of course. Oh, he was in the elevator with his father! From the angle of the bullet and the other evidence, it could not have been a suicide. The murder weapon, a pistol, was found in the elevator. The pistol had been fired two times. Where have I heard that before? Huh, it sounds just like this current case. What's going on here? Any data on the suspect in there? Hmm, I think it's the guy that my mom got arrested. Hold on, this is it. The man arrested as a suspect in the uh, six was Yanni Yogi. He was a clerk in the court, apparently. So he must have been the third person in the elevator. Well, he had to have done it then. But he was found innocent. It's just a defense lawyer, Robert Hammond. The victim in our case! Right. The suspect, Mr. Yogi, was hostage so much so that he had brain damage. He lost all the fun being in the elevator. After his part in us, he disappeared. Where could Yogi have gone to, I wonder? Maybe closer than we think. I guess I generally know what happened in GL6 now. I still don't know what sort of impact the whole thing had on Edgeworth. Nick! Are we going to take the whole file? There's too much! We'll never get it out! You're right. Why don't we just take what we think we'll need? Yelsit's case file added to the court record. Right. That's probably all we'll be able to find here. All of a sudden, it's the trial tomorrow. I wonder how Dad will be testifying in court. Next time on Phoenix Right.